guys and welcome back to my channel this is part three of our valentine's tablescape so everything that you saw me do in videos one and two you will now see me put together to complete my tablescape before we get started go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos you don't want to miss those so this tablescape is great for someone who has a small table, a uh, round table. Um, maybe you have an apartment and you don't have like a lot of space. So this would be great and ideal for you. Now my table is really a craft table. We do not eat at our dining room table. This is just a centerpiece on the dollar store. And I had a piece of felt that I got from either Michael's or Joanne, it was only a dollar. So I didn't want the hole to show through here. I wasn't crazy about the hole. So um, I put a piece of felt under here and I just cut the ends. And I'm leaving that um, there. And then I put my vase or vase right. there in the, the center. And so um, next I'll start with my plates. I got these plates on the Dollar Tree. Um, well, the charge is on the Dollar Tree. It is that beautiful candy apple red that I love so, so much. And forgive me for any glare that um, you may see on the table or scratches. Um, like I said, we don't eat at our dining room table. Um, we act I actually use it as a craft table. So um, getting the markings off of the glass is very hard. And then um, I got these dulies as well. They had three different sizes in the pack. So I chose to use two different sizes for this video. I used the large as well as the medium and then I got these plastic plates these clear plates as well from the Dollar Tree now mostly I'm using at least I would say 98% of everything that I'm using for the video is from the Dollar Tree there were a few things that I found in my own stash and collection that I got, um, that I already had, that I opted to use um, in this video. So, and I will try to leave a link in the description bar down below to say where I got them from. I'm not even 100% sure. I got these white glass plates as well from the Dollar Tree. And then I'll show you what I did with these napkin rings. Oh wait. I actually forgot to do my placemats. So these placemats came from the Dollar Tree as well. And the cute thing about these is they have glitter along the edge, if you remember from my um, first video. They also came in pink, which is pretty cool. And so I took these napkins, these a pack of um, dinner, dinner style napkins from a Dollar Tree, and I just bunched it up a little and then I put my napkin ring over it. And then I took these silver 
um, utensil sets and I just place them inside each napkin. These are the glasses that I made. Oh, and before I did that, I just want to show you guys. Now this I did not get from the Dollar Tree. These are um, to go under the cups. These were actually left over from my daughter's wedding, which was three years ago we actually had a few left and then they say love on them if I remember or find the receipt where we purchased these I'll leave a link in the description bar down below these are really cute and cheap um, we bought them in bulk though so I know a lot of these places when you buy them in bulk um, but it, it is a coaster and I thought it was perfect since this is Valentine. Then we have our And initially, if, you, if you're paying attention to the other video, I said I was only doing three. But then I had went back and did a close-up for you guys of the um, of one of these. So I actually did put that other one on the table. These foam hearts come in red and pink in the same package. And so I'll just leave one on each side of the play setting. And then I have four of these from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to insert some tea lights in them. Now the tea lights I did not get from the Dollar Tree. They were actually left over from the wedding. I had quite a bit of wedding um, leftovers. Okay, so now the only thing that is left is my scatter gem. This is more glitter, came in red and pink, and I am just going to scatter these on the table.
And so that is everything from my Dollar Tree haul. And I know it looks like a lot on the table, and it is, but like I said, we don't eat at this table. So I am actually just doing it for decor, to which I am actually okay with having so much on this table. And here's a quick, another idea for you newly wedded couples. If the bride still has her bouquet, she can actually use that as a centerpiece. And have a little piece of the wedding. And there you have it guys, my Valentine's tablescape, which would be great for a date night or a Galentine's dinner with one of your very close friends. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button down below and share it with your friends and family. And make sure you follow me on all social media.